Hi all, Martin of Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying Spent Westy. That's a uh, Spent Mayfly pattern. Very good. Um, well worth having in your box, especially this time of year, you know. Um, it's in Patsy Deary's book, Irish Mayflies, and it's a good fly. It catches fish, it floats well, it's fairly tough. As always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, the monthly tying sessions, as well as entering the giveaways. You can also just subscribe, hit the bell button, that's all appreciated. So I've got my hook my vice, this is a Kamazan B170 and it's a size 10. And I've run on some white thread. Um, it's just Vivas Tenno and I'm going to start by tying in my tail which up to yourself you can use Badger you can use Black Squirrel um, you could use Pheasant Tail I suppose but it's not very durable I'm going to use Moose Body uh, I really like it for my fly tails just going to grab I know about half a dozen fibres there and I'm going to stack them and then that's my tail now you want the tail quite long um, I reckon two hook lengths or thereabouts is about right I'm just going to tie that in. And then I'll trim this half the length of the body. And I'm just going to tidy this up right now. And then I'm going to put the wee red hot spot which got a length of glow bright number four catch that in and I'm going to build up a wee hot tag just about half the distance should be about half the length of the distance between the barb and the point of the hook I think is about right um, if you want it a wee bit bigger that's fine you can make it smaller, up to you. I'm just going to take my time and just build this up. That looks okay. I'll tie it off. Turn away the waste. Now, I'm going to come forward and tie in my wing. I'm going to tie it slightly further forward than you might normally. Um, and I'm using wedging. But if you've not got wedging, you can use like godwall or teal or whatever. As long as the, the feather fibre is long enough. Take away any rubbish at the bottom of the feather. Draw the fibres out to line them up. And rip them away. And then I'll repeat that up the feather. So that I've got a nice bunch. The wing doesn't need to be super heavy um, and length I'm going to say about a hook length is nice something like that so we'll just get that on pinch it in just got to 
press it with my thumbnail just to flatten it because I want I want it to spread like an arc, like a fan shape. It's not bad at that. So we'll just take a couple of lock and turns. Then I'm going to come in, trim that at an angle, and I can catch in my rib and my body material on the way down. So the rib is black flex floss, span flex, whatever you want to call it. And a white poly yarn. Right, I'm using Aero Dry Wing, and I've got only when it comes in the card that's in the, the materials in four strands, and I've just taken one of them. Right, so it's a quarter of the a quarter of the width of the material. Just catch that in, draw it back. And I'll come back to the wee hot tag right up against it. Come to the front. I lift my wing. No quick finish. I just start some black uni and eight all. The reason I use Vivis when it's white is the the Vivis is a better white. Um, look, the colours it's like pure pure white. The uni white snow is clean a colour. Um, I don't. I mean, it probably doesn't matter that much, but I just prefer that clean, the clean white. And then I'm going to take my body and I'm just going to come up, just wind it, make it fairly even. Just want to make sure I'm at the right tie in point there. Come up, and I'm going to come right back and behind the wing, and then I'm going to come and catch it in the underside. Just pull that up and underneath, nice and tight, and then I'll trim away my waist. And then tidy that up. Then I'll take my rib. I'll take a full turn at the back, and then I'm going to come up. say four or five turns and then again I'm going to catch it underneath put that tight and snip it away we'll do the next fly hackle is just a black cock this is from a saddle and tie it Fairly short, I would say. Um, catch it in behind the wing and leave space for two or three wraps of hackle. I'm just going to bring the hackle stem under the on the underside. Just tie it forward just to make it nice and secure. Then I'm going to fan out my wing. I'll grip it like that. And I'm going to take my thread back and tie up against it. I'm not going to tie it over the wing. I'm just going to tie against it just to sort of trap it in that fanned position. Right, you can see there on the underside that it's uh runlet the top hemisphere of the fly and then 
get your hackle. And I went a good three turns behind. And then I'm going to come underneath. And I've got my first turn right tight in against that wing. And then I'm going to come forward. Again, two or three, maybe even four at the front. Nice and dense. Tie it off. I'm going to fold it back. Take two or three turns over the top. And then I'll just whip finish and just make a very small head. Trim away the waist. Break the hackle. To adjust your wing and all that. Now, I'm going to use some UV resin to set the hackle. You can if you just want to just trim it, that's fine. Um, but the UV resin won't fall out of the hackle because there's plenty of fibres gripping it. And you will manage to cure it all because it's a very small amount. It will it'll stay on nicely. I'm just encouraging the feather fibres to separate. And then I'm going to come in. This is just solar is thin. Um, You don't need hunters, but you need enough to hold it. I mean, some folk use super glue, but super glue will actually rehydrate in water. Um, I mean, with a battle of the fly doesn't last long enough for that to happen, but now, once you've got a nice flat underside, just come in, hit it with the light. And I mean, don't be shy, get it cooked. And there you go, that's your spent Westy. A nice high floating mayfly pattern. Ideal for the spent fish, you can see it well. It sits in the film, floats really well, but it's flush, but you can see it because of the fanned wing. It's well worth tying some of these up. Well worth having in your box. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tell guys. Bye.